So, Peter, how did you feel about Jesse's performance tonight? I'm really about a C plus. Do you uh, think that the Southpaw style gave him a little bit of trouble? Absolutely. You know, it wasn't just the Southpaw style. It was that we didn't have much time to prepare. We only really had like four and a half weeks to prepare. You know, usually for Southpaw, I would need eight to ten weeks. But you know, he came. He came to the camp heavy, and you know, and like I said, the, the time was limited. But you know, what the uh, what we did in that small amount of time, you know, was a uh, real nice thing. He kept he kept his position and. You know, he used that jab to and that's what I was saying yesterday. If he uses that jab, he'll keep this kid off balance. This kid wasn't no joke. You know, I mean, you know, he wasn't the greatest southpaw in the world, but if you're not used to fighting southpaws and you start getting tired, you're going you're gonna to go back to instincts like bending to the right and to the left hand and moving into the left hand. And, you know, Jesse, you know, he kept his mind on what he had to do and he did a good job. Now you mentioned the weight. Do you think the weight class may have played a little bit of a? Uh... Absolutely. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna keep himself, you know, focused on what he wants to do. I mean, I know he wants to fight a couple more times. I can't see why they're not giving him a shot. He's pulled off eight wins in a row against decent opponents. The kid deserves a title shot. I mean, he may want one or two more fights. Take care of the kid. Make him, get, put him on. Get him a big fight. And uh, you know, that, that's it. He wants. He wants to check, uh, test his. Uh, is a skill a skill level against one of the major hitters. Do you have a preference on a big fight for him? I don't care who it is. I mean, I make him Lacy or a Kessler or, or Pavlik. I mean, any, anybody, any right hand. We want no sofa. I want to stay away from that sofa shit. How's How's uh, Peter Jr. doing? He's doing well. He's back in the gym. He's he been, he's doing strength and conditioning. He's been sparring, and he also uh, has been running. So we're gonna he just signed with TKO Promotions, and they're gonna get him a fight by the end of the summer. So he is coming back, he is, and retiring after the Beaker fight? No, he fought again after the Beaker fight. He, he fought uh, Walid Smiché in Montreal and he, he knocked him out. So he's supposed to fight out at the end of the summer. Uh, is he gonna? What weight class is he gonna he's fight gonna at? He's gonna move down to 60. Okay. So fight at 160. How how are your other prospects going? Edwin Rodriguez had elbow surgery. He signed with Udabella, and he'll be uh, he's gonna be fighting in about six weeks. He's just back in the gym now. He's looking good. He's 10 0 with seven knockouts. Hezu Cairo just got his hand out of the cast. He had a problem with his left hand. He's gonna be fighting by the end of the summer. He's back in the gym. Uh, Richard Jing was supposed to fight next week, but he ended up getting an illness that put him in the hospital, and so now he's off, and when I get back, I'll find out more about him when he'll fight again, probably in August or September. Okay, is anything you'd like to say in closing? I just want to thank everybody for following us, and you know, keep the support up, and uh, look for us again.